Today we will discuss low lymphocyte levels in a simple and easy to understand way. Have you wondered what could cause your lymphocyte levels to drop? Low lymphocytes, a condition known as lymphocytopenia, occurs when your absolute lymphocyte count falls below 1,000 cells. It's not just a single issue. Various factors can lead to this condition. Some of the common causes include infections, viral infections like HIV, influenza, or hepatitis, and bacterial infections such as tuberculosis can significantly impact your lymphocyte count. Systemic diseases, autoimmune disorders like lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, and other chronic diseases can lead to lower lymphocyte levels. Medical treatments. Certain treatments like chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or immunosuppressive drugs can also contribute to lymphocytopenia. Lifestyle factors, elements like malnutrition, alcohol abuse, or even stress can influence your lymphocyte count. What are the alarming signs related to low lymphocytes that require immediate medical attention? In some cases, low lymphocytes can signal a more urgent health issue. Here are signs that you should not ignore. Symptoms of severe infection or illness. If you're experiencing significant health changes such as respiratory difficulties or signs of a severe infection, it's crucial to seek immediate care. Very low neutrophil count. Accompanying low neutrophil count, particularly an absolute neutrophil count, ANC, less than 500 cells, is a critical situation requiring urgent evaluation. Signs of bone marrow disorders. Symptoms indicating issues with bone marrow function, like unexplained severe cytopenia, are a red flag. What tasks do doctors perform to understand the root cause of low lymphocytes? When lymphocyte levels are low and there's no immediate danger, doctors follow a structured approach to find the underlying cause. Complete blood count, CBC, and blood smear. Repeating these tests confirms lymphocytopenia and checks for other abnormalities. Medical history review. This includes looking at past medical records, medication history, and any exposure to toxins or radiation. Physical examination. Doctors look for signs of underlying disorders or active infections. Additional tests. These might include liver function tests, serum protein electrophoresis, and HIV screening. In certain cases, consultations with a hematologist or immunologist might be necessary. Be sure to follow up with your healthcare provider for the next step.